Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omnifactory and we have the Death Star in the background. Hi Death Star! Right, on to more um, serious matters. This week, what are we making? Right, I want to look at making the conveyor, the compacting drawers and the robot arm and finish off that little piece. Um, also, we need to look at getting, looking at some of these as well. And the gear mould. I don't know why I didn't do it last week. I may have run out of time. I can't remember. But, um, yeah. Let's start by doing those three things I just outlined. This is the compacting drawer, I think. Hold on, let's put some of this stuff away. Do we not have... Huh. I, no, I don't want to put that in there. I thought I had wheat. Alright, we'll put that there. All the other stuff that I have. I should have put this away before, but I don't know. I made some upgrade templates, made the um so I can make some of these drawers bigger rather than taking up loads of drawers. Uh, let's just dump this stuff in here. We need the hammer. Right. Right, stuff is dumped off. So, there's that for the compacting drawer. Compacting drawer. Well, what's a compactor? Compresses items, okay. But we want a compacting drawer. So that's two pistons, six iron plates and a frame drawer. Thank you. So a compacting drawer, what that does, let me see, what do we have? I think, let's try it with this one. Do I have my axe? I have the lumber axe. Do I have a normal axe? I do. Let's see if we can get anything done with this before it breaks. And our compacting drawer is here. So we can put in... Actually, that's only going to take one thing. Alright, so that's the nickel. So it will take an ingot. It, if it has enough, it will turn them into blocks or it can take it it can reduce them down into nuggets and you can take whichever one so if you need blocks of something you can take from there if you just need the ingots you take from the ingot side and if you want nuggets you take from the nugget side so it is um it's a handy way to to um have your stuff there okay that's manganese and that's dem dem demora no damascus steel all right, let's put you guys here. Where's the manganese? Right, so that's that. Did that open up anything else, I wonder? Uh, no. Okay. Um, the LV conveyor, which is, I believe, this one is it um, those two the two pistons and the cable nope okay conveyor we want LV that one Oh, it's not pistons, it's electric motors. Ah. Um, 
have electric motors there. There's the conveyor. Right. And the other one was the robot arm, so we need two more motors. I have been making lots of pistons and motors offline because I knew we were going to need them. Um, it's a piston, that's a motor. I can't really tell from that distance. Okay, no, wrong bit. Okay, we need four. Nope. Okay. We need four iron, four steel rods, which we have. Then what are we making? robot arm that's it oh we need a circuit as well I knew I'd forgotten something I think we have circuits there all right um robot arm LV and we have that See, once you've made all the stuff in the background, it's all quite easy, but it's making that stuff. All right, <coughs> excuse me, take our Omnipennies, and those, and those. All right, it hasn't opened up anything. The only big thing that's been opened up is the blast furnace. So let's make this gear mold. So we need an empty gear, so it's a file and a hammer and four steel plates. Do I have any steel plates in here? Yes. Because I was going to make, oh, excuse me. I was going to make the magmat, oh. Oh, okay, how do I get that off though? That's probably, did I break the conveyor? Oh, there's the conveyor. Eight, se eight items every second. Oh, nice. What machine did I just pop off? The electrolyzer. Which we're not really using anyway. Let's put that away. What else we have? Solidifier, wire mill, electrolyzer, mixer. I have to try and remember what machines we have in the box. Okay, um... Yeah, what was I doing? What was I doing? Oh, I was going to make the magmatic dynamo. I'd lost, totally lost my chain of thought. Magmatic generator. But to make that, you need, actually, on, on the surface, it doesn't look too bad. Magmatic generator it's like okay we need some gold plate we need red alloy plate we needed furnace generator and we need a machine block okay not too bad then the machine block you need steel plates and black quartz black quartz I haven't come across it in the world yet so I'm gonna have to leave that for a little bit but if we get the mag if we if I find it we can make the magmatic generator so all right, the mold gear. We need still four steel plates, which I think I just put in my inventory. Four steel plates and a hammer and a file, wasn't it? Um, mold. Okay, there's the blank one. Yes, that's that. And then the gear one, how do you make that? Okay. No, that's a small gear. I think that's what we want. Normal gear. Thank you. 
all right we get some omni nickels for that did that open up anything no but we can now make gears but what do we use this uh, most gears will require being smelted inside inside an alloy furnace using a gear mold okay so how do you use this in an alloy oh and they had a plate mold so I could have used okay alloy smelter making blocks okay Um, let's take a ingot of iron because we have quite a lot of iron where'd I put it here right yes because that was one of the drawers I expanded Is that nope I probably need to put in more iron all right let's try putting in more iron how many is left is that eight or three I can't tell I can't read I can't read it it's a bit ambiguous so let's have a look okay we have an iron gear and we have three left and I can't remember how much we put in I think there's one in there we put in 10 that's 11 so we needed eight to make a gear it looks like okay all right let's put that in there now we want the iron okay did I put the gear uh, gear iron gear okay so that's how you use that then all right next thing all right so we're not going to be simulating mobs not yet because that's a bit more than we need to go into right now what's this simulated mobs blank data model okay we can do that fine gold wire gold foil a oh, gold wire okay we can do that yeah uh, we have we want gold I did move around quite a bit of my stuff all right the wire mill we're going to need uh wire mill so let's put you here let's put you two in and that should give us some gold wires and then we put the wire in again and that should give us oh so one wire would give us no two wires would give us eight eight fine gold okay uh, blank data model so we want three we want electrical steel plate electrical steel is steel and silicon silicon we get from the electrolyzer if I remember correctly you know what I'm actually liking them off the ground then on top of the ground all right steel need to make some more steel soon and silicon 
How much silicon do we have? Uh, do we have any silicon? We have two. And that is the... This one. Okay. So, electrical... How much electrical steel do we need? Four ingots. And it's one to one. So silicon dust we can get from the electrolyzer from what exactly? What did we? I think it was clay. Was it clay or clay dust? We did last time. Lazarite dust. Wasn't it mica? I think it was clay dust we did it from because it was something that we had on hand and I think it was clay so put some clay uh, clay into the electrolyzer was that not it and um, no that's not what we did let's have a look in the book um, electrolyzer that was mixer electrolyzer okay clay dust all right so it's clay dust not clay so I'm guessing if we put the oh we have oh I have one yes so I had to put the clay dust had to put the clay into the ma macerator and then the clay dust into the electrolyzer. It says it wants water, something. No, nope. I can't remember what we did. But we, I don't remember putting any water in as recipes. I can't remember putting in any um, any water. I thought we just put it in and then it did its thing, but it's not. Okay, maybe we did put in water. Let's find a bucket. I mean, goodness knows where that is. Uh, bucket of water. Because I know we did it last week, but I can't remember what we did. Okay. Let's put one in, see what happens. Still not doing anything. So it wasn't the water. Okay, it has electricity. Maybe we need to put in more clay dust. That could be it. It's not going to work on one dust because it's not enough. Because last time we had to get se for the for the quest we had to get seven. So I'm wondering if it needs seven clay dust. Uh, all right, seven. There you go. It needed seven. I mean, these things should tell you, but then I guess it's not there to hold your hand either. So, um, so yeah. All right, two sodium, two silicon, lithium. All right, let's, how much clay do we, I don't think we have that much clay, to be honest. We have 14. 
All right, let's put those in and then put those in the electrolyzer and let us get some more dusts and things. Um, lithium dust. Yeah, it does seven at a time. All right, let's leave that cooking up. And what were we doing to get to make dust? Oh yes, we're trying to make blank data. So we want electrical steel plate. So electrical steel, so steel and silicon dust. So we want six silicon dust. How much do we have? Um, we have four. All right, we need two more. Sodium silicon, that is awesome. And we want, we've got four steel, we need six. Yeah, we're gonna have to make some steel, some more steel soon. Okay, um, was it in the alloy smelter? Before I go and do it and then it's the wrong thing. Electrical steel, I think it was the alloy smelter. Alloy smelter, steel and silicon dust. Okay. Steel, silicon dust, and you're going. This is stopped, that's awesome. Silicon dust, oh yes, because we finished that, didn't we? Right, um... Did I, oh, I took out the, the, the couple of emeralds that I had. Alright, that should be finished. That's done. Oh, electric... Oh, there was a quest for electrical steel. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, and then we could do hardened upgrade kits and basic capacitors and... Oh, Ender I.O. Because that grains of infinity and item conduits as Ender I.O. That's great because then we could start um, routing things around with the, with the pipes. Okay, that's cool. Let's claim that then. Um, and we were simulating mobs. Right, so we needed four electrical steel plates. Why did I make up six then? I don't know. Don't know why I made up six. Uh, pulsating mesh. Did we have one from last time? I think we did. Or maybe we didn't. Uh, we didn't. Pulsating mesh is, I think, that, in that involves string somehow. That's all I remember. All right, uh, the pulsating mesh, pulsating dust, which was uranium into pulsating dust. And then the mesh, oh, carbon mesh, coal and string. All right, four string and one coal dust. Is that coal dust? Yes. Ah, uh, four string, where did we have our string? Um, da, 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 da. can we put wool in the macerator and get string because that would be awesome yes we can how much do we get three 
three. Okay. At least I think that's three. Yes, that's three. I have a hard time reading those numbers because basically it's white against white. So, yeah. Uh, I guess that's for your young folks who have really good eyesight. Not like me, who's old and grey. Don't I have eyesight. Do I have eyesight? No. If I didn't have any, I wouldn't be able to play video games. At least not very well. No. I mean, my eyesight is bad. Oh, ignore that. Just ignore that. <laughs> that is so not what I meant. Right. Um, we want one pulsating mesh, so we need four string, one coal dust. That gives on a carbon mesh. And then the that stuff, stuff that looks like ender, something to do with ender pearls or something. All right, how many of those do we need? Yeah, we needed four of those. Okay, that's fine. That gives us a pulsating mesh. I think we needed a circuit as well. Uh, uh, what are we making? I've just done the exact same thing. Blank data model. All right, I think we have everything. Um, we're missing oh the steel plates because they're still in here all right we should have everything now blank data model ding thank you uh, claim that Overworldly and overworldly and matter. Provide your simulation chamber with RF power and pulsating polymer clay. Then insert a data module of your choice. The simulation chamber will consume polymer clay and a decent amount of power to begin simulating mob kills. This will generate overworldly and matter and occasionally provide you with pristine matter. Overworldly and matter can be eaten to gain experience or can be combined with other materials to obtain drops from the overworld mobs. With these drops, you can then create data modules for other mod types as well. Okay, we don't have enough power to worry about that right now because it did say it consumes lots of power. I don't want to... That's why we're saying we want... I should try getting the magmatic generator. Uh, loot fabricator, okay... This is all into components and ender IO, basic capacitors. Yeah, that's ender IO. So, next week then, because it is that time. It's really weird. I, I never see this time coming. All right, let's, can we make charging quartz? Oh, charge surface quartz, AE2. Autoclave. We need charging quartz. Can we do this quickly? Dark steel plates, Certis quartz plates. Do I have any Certis quartz though? And we need a compactor. Hold on. Certis quartz plate, compactor, Certis quartz. I haven't found any Certis quartz yet, so we can't do that anyway. Um, smelting. Yeah, I don't think I've found any Certis Quartz yet. So between, because this is normal Quartz, I believe. Yeah, Nether Quartz. Nether Nether Quartz. Or. So we need, I need to go mining. Not we, because you're not coming along, because, you know, you don't need to. We know how to mine. 
So I need to go mining and I need to see what I can find. Can I buy Certus Quartz, maybe? With my Omni Omni pick, Omni Pickles? So Certus. Okay, with my Omni Pennies. Okay. Oh I can. Oh, okay. I can. But I'm not gonna start that now. All right, so next week then we will we'll work on I don't know about this edge I would have I think what I'd have to do is do the simulating mob thing and see did we pocket hold on before I do anything because we made it if we just hook it up to what we have then what happens? Please insert a data module. We've got a blank one. Okay. But it's not getting any RF. Oh no, because it's not connected. All right, let's take are you in anything in there? No, let's take you off. Let's put you on. And you're still not connected. Okay. So we can't do anything with you, even if we wanted to. So maybe that's why we need Ender IO then, because these these cables are not doing it. Unless I put unless I put you on top here now you're still not getting any RF okay so yeah we can't do anything with you yet can't do anything with you yet so we'll leave that we will autoclave what does an autoclave do? do? Does Oh, words hard. Autoclave. Um, basic autoclave. Um, we could make it. I don't know what it does though. Okay, so next week we're gonna have to do the. Ch I'll have to buy some Certis quartz, melt, smelt it up and stuff. And then we can do that and the autoclave, see how that goes. And so the charger, the autoclave, that finishes that tech line. And then we can start getting into a little bit of ender IO, see what we can get. Pulsating iron and ender pearls. We need an ender pearl and pulsating iron. Okay, so that means then I'm going to have to start hunting down some endermen and see and start raiding places so yeah so between episodes lots of mob hunting i'm not taking you with me because that will just be a slaughter fest and you do not want to see me die over and over in very basic ways so um thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching Bye bye